The black community has been hit particularly hard by the pandemic. We'll reinforce it time and time again. For black people with COVID-19, it's more likely to be deadly. That's because of the large number of health disparities plaguing communities of color. Well, this morning, our Michael Quander explains how one company is working to get more people screened for the virus. My name is Andrew Suggs, co-founder and CEO of Live Chair Health. Live Chair Health is a service uh, deeply focused on preventing African American men from dying way too young uh, for preventable causes. We've been in barber shops for a couple years now, helping them improve their uh, operations and client management. And I knew, you know, growing up, um, like having crucial conversations in a barber shop was very important. But the conversations that we didn't have is about our health. And so recently I lost my father a couple of weeks ago due to congestive heart failure. And, you know, after watching his quality of life deteriorate, I knew uh, we had to go further and go harder in how we were set up to serve this um, unique social space. What is that relationship between the client and the barber look like? Pre-COVID, we equipped and trained barbers on how to take uh, blood pressure readings. And then uh, we equipped the shop with the weight scale so that we were able to take weight and then also gauge uh, BMI. So blood pressure, BMI, and weight. And then um, after the client was screened, we provided the client with a health risk assessment. But those health screenings stopped with the coronavirus shut barbershops and salons down. And now that they're starting to reopen again, those same groomers were given thermometers and screening techniques to monitor for COVID-19 exposure. And if someone is believed to be at risk, they're not just turned away and denied service, but they are connected to a healthcare professional. And if that client needs to be referred to a testing center, then they um, are able to do that. It's a way to meet the community where they are during a pandemic to keep them both handsome and healthy. In Washington, Michael Quander, WUSA 9.